Hey guys, if not, I thought I'd bring a uh, video review of the uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen the Loves Class Rampage. Uh, this guy is a pretty nice looking bulldozer. Um, this bit gets annoying though. We'll get to that here in a little bit. This tread's coming off. There we go. But he obviously rolls not that great because of the wheels in the bottom and it's, it's a bulldozer, so what do you expect? Um, the shovel does move up and down some, so that's pretty cool. The calf section looks pretty nice. Very kind of like a dark red translucent plastic right here, so take that as you will. You have these sections back here, which I think has something to do with dirt or something like that. Again, I'm not really big on construction vehicles, so I don't know. You have a nice like Decepticon symbol right there, though, with um, some red tail lights, so that's pretty cool. Nice treads that run along, along here. Um, nice details like you know these bits and this like you know section right here. So that's pretty cool, I think. I all have like the little like gear looking mechanisms they molded in right there, and these gear mechanisms they kind of molded in right here. Very very nice molding on this guy for sure. Too bad he's not the red version like how he was in the movie. Uh, but I guess this is more of like an accurate color, I suppose. So. And of course, these pistons, we'll get to those later as well. So I'm not really going to spend too much time in this mode, guys. The bulldozer, it's cool looking. Yeah, with these guards right here, all these all this detail and stuff, construction stuff. Uh, again, I'm not really going to spend too much time on it. So I'm probably going to go ahead and jump on to robot mode. Um, oh, well, actually, real quick, for a size comparison, um, here he's next to like Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Skids. Don't think that's accurate in size, you know, scale. Um, not so sure. I'm pretty sure it's not. Pretty sure it's much larger, but I don't know. Anyhow, yeah, let's get on the robot mode, guys. So you want to untab these sections from the side, like this. A little bit rough. There we go. You want to open up these bits. You want to pull this section up. And you want to fold all this down. And the same. Just kind of keep on folding it till these two tabs line up with this section right back here. Then you want to bring in this shovel section. Just kind of have it together like that. You then want to grab these like support pieces and kind of bring bring them down, and then bring this piece down. It's like the huge ass backpack. Um, then you want to bring these bits up. Then want to bring down the legs and straighten them out, and just pull it down and rotate the waist around. From here you can kind of bend the legs and kind of bring them out as it's like, you know, bouncing pose, um, separate the legs. Uh, and obviously you see these support pieces while keeps them standing, so you have that. They want to, this is pretty cool I think, and pull up the tread, you want to bring it around uh, like that, and you can kind of pull it out. I like to kind of keep it like this. I kind of like to bring this piece over it because this—I mean, this makes it the hand. I kind of like to make it look like it's coming out of his hand a little bit. So, and you can leave it out like that if you want, but it looks kind of weird, I think. So, you know, just kind of preference, I suppose. But I like to keep it like that. So, it's pretty cool, I think. So I'm going to do the same over here on this side. Just untap it from here. Let it loose. Pull it all around. And pull the hand over. And pull these bits down over it. Here, pull down the head. Kind of want to push these like piston pieces up. It kind of tabs in like that, I guess, right here to kind of make the chest. I don't know. Pull the head down just a little bit. 
want to get everything settled, guys, here we have Rampage and his robot mode. Uh, <laughs> um, it, it looks a little bit weird. Uh, the, the toes are stubby looking. Unless he's wearing these weird, like, pointy high heel things. I don't know. Obviously, the backpack is effing huge. Look at that. You can probably park a freaking car underneath there. Matter of fact, let's see if we can do that. Let, let's see. Let's see if we can drop skids. Oh, see, look. You can drop skids right through there. Or almost, almost through there. So, yeah, you get a bumblebee or somebody, you probably do that. So, you have that. Um, of course, I didn't, I didn't really have much of a choice. Um, so, I can't really bash on this too much, I suppose, like how most people do. I actually do kind of dig this guy. Um... It is kind of neat, I suppose. Um, so, take it as you will. Of course, the arms, they have the whip pieces on them. And if I believe in the back of the package, it says that these um, treads were apparently made from, like, dead Autobots, which is kind of cool, actually. I kind of like the idea of that, so that's pretty cool. I do think. And, of course, they're just, you know, rubbery. So, that's pretty cool, I guess, but whatever. Um... It does stand very, you know, fairly well if you had a back piece. Obviously, it's not going to fall. It's a lot of support back here, so. Um, he does have a third mode, a triple changer mode, where you push the legs together. You bring this section down that tabs in right here. Like that. And then you, uh, I guess you can kind of leave it like that. Support it, but I believe that they say you can kind of bring it out like that, I guess. I don't really know. I like to kind of just keep it all back here, keep it more secluded. It still sits pretty well, so. If you have it right, at least. And then I said that, it's probably going to keep on falling over around me. There we go. So, here you have this. Which is kind of weird. Uh, that's how he was in the movie, though. Uh, I don't remember him having legs. I remember him just being in this bouncy pose, which this is on spring, as I showed you before. So, and of course, he's piston, so watch this, guys. Bouncy mode! Activate! You can bounce around, and I don't know, you can do that like, I don't know, like the tiger from Winnie the Pooh, I don't know. You know, Tigger, you can bounce around. Of course, these pistons are supposed to come up, and they're supposed to kind of do stuff around here. Maybe like the Make a Life feature, and just kind of, you know, do like that. And the pistons do that, I guess. I don't know. But I guess if you straighten them out, you can, yeah, you can kind of do that. So, yay, joy, joy. But we're going to go getting back to a more, I guess, natural looking uh, mode, so. And that separate the legs. And boom! Here we have him back in his robot mode. Such a hard transformation. <laughs> now, unfortunately, the legs they're joined together, and since you know they kind of kind of springy, so you can't really do much with them. Same thing right here. I guess he could, you know, I guess yeah, yeah, you know, kick somebody. You know, these areas I, they they come out. I'm not sure what for, for what reason. Maybe it's like a little finger rest when your these are together, like, like that, you're bouncing it maybe, I don't know, but those sections right here are really useless, I'm not so sure what those are for. If you do know, comment below and correct me, I haven't really seen any use for those, I don't believe, so. Uh, this guy, uh, in my eyes, is supposed to replace Bone Crusher whenever he got killed in the first movie. Even though Bone Crusher was kind of running around in the second movie, which was a bit strange, but I mean the head sculpt kind of resembled Bone Crusher in the way. It is a very nice head sculpt. He has these like red, kind of orangey looking eyes. Um, if you get light shine through it, kind of works with the uh, light piping. And it looks pretty nice, I think. So it's pretty cool, nonetheless. Um, here is next to the movie one deluxe. A bumblebee again, just to kind of show the size, com you know, the size comparison, and he's the guy who ultimately took him out. So here you have that. But, yeah, we'll just—he comes up, and his pisses kind of come up over Bumblebee. Uh, 
Um, bat the head, obviously, his head comes up to my homie's um, chest, so. Let's take him out of here and focus more on this guy. Oh, we can drop the camera too, that works just fine. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Um, I think that kind of ugly with the screws facing, but again, this mode isn't really the most beautiful looking one either, but. Uh, yeah, um, I'm probably going to go ahead and just get back and jump all the way back to vehicle mode. Because there's not much we can do with this robot mode. So maybe move the arms and that's about it. So, yeah. Bulldozer mode, let's get back to it. What you want to do is you want to fold those sections back down for whatever reason, purpose they supposed to be there. Just clip these sections back in, like around here and here. So you can see, there's a big hole, little hole. Little hole. <laughs> do that. I didn't want to kind of untab that section. Bring the head up. Camera up just a tad bit. That gummit, or we can drop it again. Jesus. You kind of bring these bits in a little bit. And we can fold this up. This chair is pretty cool. I, I still do like how this works. You just kind of put around this gear and it fits perfectly. Put, kind of put it around the hand, of course. Well, behind the hand. You overlap it around till it tabs back in right here. So, again, you just kind of, I mean, sometimes you got to kind of pull it around some more, kind of tug on it, and it just put, goes in right there and kind of taps in right there. So, yeah, you have that. You can, this, you know, this hand, you just kind of pull it back around. I'm going to pull that hand back around this side, too. Um, I, I also forgot to mention earlier, the hands, they do open, and, of course, they close. Um... So you can do that, whatever you want, but yeah, there you go, you got that. Then, pull all this around, tabs in right there, this tabs in right here. I like to kind of just pull these sections back like that, I keep them on the way, I just like to keep them like that anyways in local mode. So yeah, you just want to kind of rotate the waist around, pull it underneath it. Now there's a tab right here, unfortunately it doesn't really tab into anything, so it's a shame, but yeah, you just kind of pull it up to where it rests right there. Uh, you just kind of bring in these arms and over it, it doesn't really tab in, I don't think, so yeah, you have that. Um, but yes, you then want to untab this bit. You want to bring this piece over the butt, I guess. <laughs> you want to close that section. Open up the shovel, accordion it around. You then want to rotate these bits in. And this section, it kind of comes up. And this, again, this piece is what I was talking about earlier. It kind of gets annoying. It just kind of fits back there, I guess, in between this gap. I don't know. Yeah, you bring all this down, you, oh, see that this comes untabbed a lot. Um, I guess you could untab that for robot mode and prop him up against the corner for for this play if you really want to, I guess. I think that's what I used to do, I can't remember. But, yeah. You want to, that tread kind of came off its track, there we go. Kind of want to bring it over these treads and it'll tab in here and here. You just line that up, line it up on this side, there we go, kind of do all this, and here we have uh, Rampage back in his uh, bulldozer mode. Uh, this guy is pretty neat, um, he, I don't know, the, the vehicle mode's neat, to be more specific. The robot mode looks unique, uh, nonetheless, it um, has a lot of back cable for sure, it's just, 
it does look okay. I really, really do dig the whips. I kind of dig how it, um, I guess, replaces and I guess kind of substitutes Bone Crushers, you know, since the G1 Bone Crusher was a bulldozer. And, of course, in the first movie, he apparently died. It was this weird, like, I don't know, pitchfork-looking thing. Minesweeper truck, I think, is what it's called. But, anyhow, enough about him. Um, it, it just, I mean, the paint is obviously off, you know, movie accurate. They do have a movie accurate version out there, the red version, which, I mean, I probably would recommend getting that one over this one just because it's movie colors. And you have this weird, like, you know, I mean, the chrome looks nice. Like this, well, not chrome, but like this silver color, um, but I don't really think a bulldozer is going to be that shiny. Um, but this is a toy, so I guess I can't make it all dirty and make it look like shit, because, you know, Hasbro and their, you know, kid logic, I suppose. I think it works as what these toys are aimed at, so. But anyway, but anyhow, though, guys, um, thanks for watching. Sorry for the camera mess-ups. It's late at night. Uh, <laughs> I've been busy. Um, so, Anyhow, though, guys, thank you for watching. Now, definitely catch you later.